Hey, Laura J here at the corner of a long, amazing day where I am getting to wear for the first time my new paraphernalia that I received that is very faithful. And so I'm just out here trusting God as my cat walks by, the trusted feline. The mini courage expressed on the outside, just as children are our hearts walking, which is why we must protect them the way that we wished that the inner child within us was able to have been protected when we needed someone to stand up for us because we didn't know that we could stand up for ourselves or maybe didn't have the strength to do it, and now we do. And so now we need to do it for the ones who can't. And so that is why we are harmonizing with music and saying, I would rather have, I would rather go out having said I tried and did my very best to be the change that I saw in this world, to fulfill the mission I came here to fulfill, to help in bringing peace and harmony to humanity with an extra E for the intentional investment of our energetic resources, those being our team players, the time, energy, effort, attention, and money that keep us vested in life. Clear the air and release. Trust the process. Let go of all that no longer serves you and be willing to move away from what you leave behind you. Being considerate of who may come after you and see what you left behind and would be well served not to have to be reminded it's there unless it's necessary, unless they're seeking it. In which case then it's not rude to shove it right in their face but if they're not seeking it and then you do that it's offensive so that's the difference people's openness I am learning these things because I am doing my best to lead a movement for peaceful inner warriors united to help us understand that it is by coming home to ourselves that we are able to fill the cells of our own self with faith instead of false emotion appearing real from a not now moment that is suddenly now here all showing up at once like the entity of collective energy from all of the past undealt with emotional experiences that ultimately have us show up in this present moment as we are and that's when then the car goes by and it is just a blue car and yet it sounded so much greater and larger for whatever reason in the distance. Things are not always as they appear. The truth is stranger than fiction. But if we are out here trusting God, we're doing our part and we're committing to being a peaceful inner warrior united as the birds sing in unison to say, come on and join the movement. What do you have to lose? It doesn't cost anything. I'm not asking for anything other than good juju for you to be able to do with this what you need, for it to feed your soul in a way that's going to nourish you and help you return to who and whose you truly are. That's, I'm trusting God to lead me. How best to be able to do that, and I've been doing that with the Sacred Self-Compassion Services on Sundays at 10, 10 a.m. with a prelude to it where I do some handstands and dance party and encourage you to move too because we got to really move it in order to honor it and that's part of the special practice that we'll be delving into in the month of April as we go through a collective transformation of self-image understanding that who we thought had our best interest at hearts may not and if that in fact is the truth then what we must do is unite in the name of what is right and that is being faithful it is about sowing the right seeds in the garden of our hearts, minds, and bodies, and understand that it is our responsibility to honor the Christos DNA within us. And that is where we will end this message today. So thank you 
do tune in again tomorrow. I am working on an incredible project I look forward to sharing with you after I've done my part because I'm not talking about it until I have. I've learned the hard way not to do that. Don't leak creative energy in your creative babies, my friend. Just keep it to yourself and trust that you will continue to do what it takes in order to bring it into fruition. And sometimes you've got saboteurs on the sidelines that are cheering you on just waiting for you to expose your weakest spot. So that being said, it's not about being suspicious of everyone. It's just saying be suspicious of everything. And then everyone is included within that because the thing is everything. And if we think about what that really means, that you are a thing and I'm a thing and that car going by is a thing and the house is a thing and the yard is a thing and everything's just things. If we understand how these things keep us separate, we stop buying into that materialism, that consumerism that keeps us apart from our divine nature as natural beings who have everything we need already within if only we are willing to dig. And that is why this is the most expensive gold mine that could ever be mined would be from the minds of men and women such as we. So let's unite. It's the We Too movement. Peaceful Inner Warriors United. Laura J is my name. I am spearheading this because it's necessary. I've been training my whole life to do it. I've been a certified John Maxwell team member, coach, teacher, speaker for 10 years, and I have hardly got myself out there in the capacity of a one-on-one -on -one relationship because I was so focused on other things, going through my own process, not feeling worthy, not feeling good enough, feeling like I needed to be a better example before I could lead anyone else through, not realizing that if I were to have spoke to the person I was two years before that, that would have been my ideal avatar because I would have been able to speak their language. And so I should have, could have, would have, didn't, got myself out there in a bigger way to the ones that really needed to hear the message. But because I couldn't get out of my way, they didn't get served. And I, I own that and I accrued karma for that. And I got it expressed in a stay September 2019 that completely changed my life and perspective of everything, including and especially the times that we're in right now with this pandemic where treason is committed behind closed doors like a Trojan horse, which is how wars have been won for years. And there is a mechanism inside of these injections I've heard that open up. That was what Dr. Sherry Tenpenny shared. So you can go and look up her information because truly it's out of this world except for unfortunately it's in it which is why we have to address it we have to know what we're facing because if we are not aware we cannot be where and right now we need to because do you see there are mosquitoes already I got bit today and I believe that I have discovered a secret link in all of this that just would make mosquito bites unappealing. So we need to figure out some natural remedies to put on our skin that doesn't completely make it so that we are um, getting eaten alive nor doused in chemical concoctions that sterilize us or contribute to hormone inhibition and ultimately interfering with the natural divine system that we are. And then we have to start holding the ones accountable who are doing this to us by actually calling them to realize that nothing is happening to us, everything is happening for us. Anyone that is involved in this because it's their day job in order to execute the order which sometimes may include people or animals or other sentient creatures that have consciousness that are tested to limits beyond their comfort or control simply because you have the capacity to push that bounds and you choose to, that's on you and your soul and you'll accrue karma that will collect in your electronic belt to keep you in the cycle of suffering, the cycle of samsara by the Buddhist tradition, which essentially is where we have the death, life, rebirth, 
life, rebirth, death, life, rebirth, death, life, rebirth, death. It's like we're constantly going through a process of transformation. And if we can learn how to consciously transform our self-image, whoa. I said five minutes ago I'm going to go, so naturally. <laughs> Yo, it's time for me to go. Laura J, namaste. Nama go at 1010, my birthday. Toodaloo.